My next guest has over 30 years acting experience, but more recently he's been focusing on directing shows. Now making a return to stage with a powerful new production of Florin Zeller's play The Father. Welcome to Showtime, Damien Jones. Thank you very much, Andrew. Andrew, appreciate the invitation. Um, an absolute pleasure. You've been on stage for 30 years, give or take. What, what's changed in that time? Uh, look, it's, it's quite a bit different apart from me ageing uh, quite a bit over that period of time. Shows have changed in their style and uh, I think there's a number of companies have come and gone as well so so the emphasis has changed quite a bit. Uh, if I look today uh, we're seeing a lot more shows that are a single act of around about 90 minutes versus the old traditional two hours or so on stage with an interval in the middle of it. Topics are very hard hitting. Um, this play is and the last one that I directed was also that. So they're challenging audiences in a very different way to what they were. 30 years ago. And I imagine a big part of that is that uh, today, as opposed to 30 years ago, there's so much more uh, competing for audiences' attention, including you know, streaming services and, and, and all sorts of other stuff that just wasn't around 30 years ago. Yes, uh, I, I think uh, throw COVID into the mix, there was a lot of companies really struggled to get their, their feet under the table again post-COVID. Um, audiences found different things to view. They spent time at home, as you say, watching streaming services and what have you, and uh, took a little while to get them back out of the house and, and back into the theatre. But uh, uh, there's quite a few companies are doing reasonably well now. Um, I think Williamstown's uh, certainly bounced back quite strongly, but some still struggle a bit. So there's a, times when they're looking for bums on seats shows uh, just in order to bolster the numbers and, and make them a bit more financially viable. Oh, look, and no doubt it's a hard time because, of course, you know, theatre companies are looking to, to sell tickets to people to keep making theatre. Um, but, you know, a lot of homes, a lot of families are, are feeling the pressure of cost of living and, and you know, groceries are, are a priority over, uh, over things like entertainment. Yes, absolutely. And, and look, it, it's not only getting sufficient people into the theatre, the, the costs of mounting a production. One, one of the things I love about uh, local theatre, uh, like uh, Williamstown Little Theatre, is that it's local, but it's also so much more affordable than some of those big city shows. Yeah. Um, ticket prices are much more modest. Uh, and it's a really intimate night of theatre. If you're looking at Williamstown Little Theatre, you seat somewhere between 60 and 70 patrons only. Uh, nobody's further than about six rows from the stage and you're up close. You can see the actors' uh, expressions very, very clearly. You can see them sweating. Um, you can really see what's going on. And, and you feel like you're sitting in the middle of the action, which is very different from a, from a big uh, theatre venue. Um, where most of the, the professional productions are taking place. It absolutely is. And, and Damien, I'd love to know more about what inspired you after 30 years of, of performing on stage, what inspired you to take that huge leap uh, into the director's chair? Look, I, I had a, a first go at it back in the, the 90s. I directed a couple of musicals in the 1990s, but I'd like to think I'm a, a, a reasonably um, practised theatre goer and, and I've worked on plays that have been very involving, very complicated, and about which I felt very passionate. And as a director, you get to bring that story to the audience. So uh, whilst acting is is uh, quite a challenge in its own right, directing is something completely different again. And uh, you know, it's really a six months project. Directing a show is, is six months of solid hard work. It's not just getting there at rehearsals and directing actors. It's there's a lot more in it than that. And uh, uh, it has a different sense of satisfaction. I, I enjoy seeing a piece come together. I, I enjoy seeing actors embody the characters and I enjoy seeing audiences get a kick out of the shows that they see. And it seems that you've got a real passion for Australian plays. What is it about Australian stories that, that really inspires you? Um, I, th I think can identify with the characters um, and when they're speaking with Australian accents, which is the case in, in Australian plays obviously, you start to feel like these are people that you know. If, if I look back at some of the Australian plays that I've both performed in and uh, directed, um, 
things like Last Cab to Darwin was a terrific story, but it was quintessentially Australian. A person driving from Broken Hill up to Darwin to try and access the right to die early, assisted uh, death. But David Williamson's plays that uh, I've both acted in and directed um, have been terrific. And another one just recently um, by Fleur Murphy called Hearth, which was about a family uh, celebrating their son's 18th birthday at their house in King Lake on the day of the Black Saturday bushfires. Uh, terrific piece, absolutely terrific piece. And gee, you're not shying away from some challenging topics, that's for sure. Uh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> well, sometimes I, I think, what am I doing this for? Uh, but I, f I find the more challenging topics very stimulating, uh, intellectually stimulating. They challenge the audiences, they, they challenge the performers. Uh, we're not doing it for a living, we're doing it to, to try and be stimulated by it. And, and personally, I find that stimulating. So after getting back into, or getting into directing, you've come full circle again, uh, and you're performing in The, the Father with Williamstown Little Theatre. What is it about that play that, um, Called you back on stage. Look, it, it is an iconic role. The uh, play was written in 2012, originally in French, was translated into English, and it is it is won awards in uh, Paris, London, the US, and multiple countries around the world, and uh, the leading actors have also been similarly nominated and rewarded. It is very much the story of a man who's dealing with dementia and, and the decline of his faculties, but also the story of his daughter who is dealing with a father who's becoming increasingly difficult to uh, handle and, and she wanting to get on with her own life, having to choose between looking after her father and uh, getting on with her own life. And uh, it's a pretty common story, one that we're seeing quite regularly in the community. And interesting, those who have seen little bits of it are always talking about someone that they know who's dealing with this issue. So I think it's it's a very common story, but this is very cleverly written, very cleverly handled. So uh, as an actor, it, it is an enormous challenge and uh, one that I hope I'm up to. Damien, as, as you say, uh, dementia is something that, that affects so many people and, and, and not just those with the condition, but their, their loved ones as well. And, and, and it can be uh, and often is an incredibly difficult journey for, for families. Mm. Um, how has it been for you as a performer tackling the role of Andre, um, knowing how potentially triggering it could be for some of the people coming to see the, the, the work? It is very difficult. There is a member of my family who's currently suffering from dementia and uh, I've been very uh, loath to, to tell family members about the fact that I'm playing a character who's dealing with that very issue. Uh, my partner, Claire, I said, look, I think this is going to trigger you, so probably best you don't come and see it. Um, and the company, to their credit, has been very upfront about uh, the potential to trigger people with, with this issue. Um, it's a tough one, and um, performing the piece um, is emotionally taxing. At the end of the 90 minutes of performance, I'm absolutely wrung out, and uh, it takes me a little while to put myself back together again, I can tell you. Uh, so not an easy piece, a very, very challenging piece, but a terrific acting experience. And I imagine it's it's such a relatable story to so many people who can maybe come and see the work, not so much as a piece of entertainment, but as an important story that they can relate to as maybe a reminder that they're not alone. Yeah, look, uh, it's not a piece of entertainment in, in sort of the old sense, if you like. I think people will get to the end of it. It's not got a happy ending and people will hopefully feel moved by it and and identify with those who are taking this journey in the story, for, for want of a better word. But the, the character of Anne, the daughter, um, has some real difficult issues to cope with. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people will identify with that. 
um, as they see Andre decline over time. Well, congratulations for taking on such a challenging but, but important role. And, you know, hopefully the work and the passion that, that, that you and the team at Williamstown Little Theatre are putting in will, will stimulate some more conversations with families about this, mm. uh, this, this difficult journey. For families affected by dementia, support is always available. Uh, there's Dementia Support Australia who can be contacted on 1800 699 799 uh, and also dementia.com.au. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to get that out there as well, Damien, to no, remind think... anyone that's watching us now uh, I... that they're absolutely not alone. I, th I think that's a really important message. Um, as I say, it, it prompts all these conversations in the theatre for you. Everybody's dealing or knows somebody who's dealing with this issue and uh, we need to discuss it. We're talking about The Father, which uh, opens on the 4th of September and runs until the 21st of September at Williamstown Little Theatre. Tickets are available at wlt.org.au, wlt.org.au. Um, Damien, all the very best for the season, and I look forward to uh, to seeing the work and being challenged by it. Like so many, my, uh, my family has also been affected by this disease. So yep. all the very best wishes to you and to the whole company. Thank you very much, Andrew. Appreciate the opportunity to chat about it and uh, look forward to catching up in the foyer after a performance.